Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today the primary thing I want to get done is this sink base area. Now if you remember from about a week or so ago, when I opened up these cabinets and started putting them in place, I noticed that there was a problem where the drawers extended further than I thought the drawers were going to extend on these units, which meant that I couldn't tuck the cabinets right up uh, next to each other, which put me, um, well, it kind of like threw me for the day, I was kind of bummed about it, but it put me in a, a situation where I had to come up with a solution for it, and uh, in the end this worked out way where I think it's actually going to be beneficial because there were a couple other problems that I wasn't going to address necessarily in a particularly awesome way uh, that I, I have an opportunity to solve now that I kind of have to build the sink base from scratch. One of those, and it's something people had mentioned in comments, is that this space here is kind of unutilized space. It's about six cubic feet of space and uh, uh, it's sort of dead. I, I was thinking that maybe I would cut a hole in the uh, the sink base that I was installing, so I kind of put some shelves in there, or maybe come through from the back side. Uh, the more obvious way of solving this thing would be to have kind of a lazy Susan here. The only problem with that is instead of two feet of uh, you know a square space, they need three feet. Uh, on either side, which isn't the problem in this dimension, you would just kind of get smaller cupboards here, but in this dimension it would push the whole sink over and that would have made it so that the sink, instead of being centered on the window, would be centered on the post. You're staring at a post when you wash uh, dishes. Um, having to build this, I'm going to be able to keep it just open through this whole area. It, uh, it'll be, make it a lot easier to just put some shelving in here. The other thing that it helps to solve is that uh, it, like I said, two feet uh, was the uh, dimension on all these counters, and if you slide the uh, sink base right up to this wall, that brings it out to here, and it was always going to be kind of a stretch to get it opening and closing this window. Given that I can kind of custom build it, I know where the sink is going to terminate, and as long as the sink doesn't uh, interact or uh, with this wall here, I can uh, shove the sink up over a little bit, and that will allow me to you know, have a couple extra inches so I can get up here and do what I need to with the window. It's still a bit of a stretch, but those couple of inches I think are gonna are gonna help a lot. And I no innu innuendos there. Just uh, easy to open and close windows. Uh, so uh, what I've been doing is just trying to figure out how to put this shape together. It's kind of a complex shape. It's not just a big box. It's a, a box that has kind of a, a cut area in here, uh, you know, to make clearance for the drawers. And uh, in addition to that, there's a little foot space underneath all these things where there's like a place where you can put your toes. So it's a, a fairly complicated uh, shape. So I'm building it a piece at a time and, uh, you know, just doing it like, yeah, one step at a time. Uh, at the moment, I... Uh, I'm working on this surface here, and I need to affix this to the concrete, and I always love to show that on camera because it's fun to show explosions and gunshots and things like that. So I've got a couple holes pre-drilled right in here, and uh, I do that. Uh, it reduces the chance of the wood splitting, uh, but it also helps uh, with uh, th having the energy from the charge go into the, the concrete instead of having to work its way through the wood. Probably pretty minimal, but it's something. Oh, uh, before I do this, actually, I forgot. I've got this little brace because I've got a line scribed here. Can't just hammer this in arbitrarily anywhere. It's got to be at the correct height. Get that up there. Okay, that should hold it pretty well. I'll hold it up there with my hip. Make sure that the charge is still in place, and it is. Goes here, and here we go. All right. Yeah, it didn't sink all the way. This uh, concrete wall has been curing here for a long time. That's not unusual. So I'm going to tap it the rest of the way. Okay. And one is not enough. I'm going to be doing a couple more in here. But usually this camera cuts me off if I make a clip too long, so I will uh, you know, let you imagine the rest of those. But that's what I want to accomplish today, is if, if I can get this thing done, I'm going to be in really good shape for when the plumbers come in, they can do a lot more work, uh, which is going to take you know, more off my plate. That's it. Thanks for watching.